And so if we talk, bring it back down to, to basics again, to blind boy, commemoration uh, for, for 2016, how do you see it? You made a documentary, I thoroughly enjoyed, kind of aimed at, I suppose, the young audience, if you want to call it that. Yeah. Uh, why did you make that programme? The Rubber Bandit's Guide to um, Well, mainly, uh, well, we made that because um, my experience of history in school, it was a bit boring, it was very solemn. Yeah. And people like Pierce and Connolly, when you're in school, they're your enemies. Because whether or not you get their name right, or get their birthdays right, or get when they died right, yeah. that determines, you know, when you go to an exam, they're, they're your enemies. Yeah. When you get out of... Uh, school then, and you start to learn about them independently off your own back, then they become your friends. Right. Do you know what I'm saying? So yeah, I so wanted you, you to... You appreciate history more You then appreciate it older. more. And I love history because, like, number one, as an artist, it's a wonderful exercise in empathy. Because when you're looking at history, you have to be imagining what did it smell like, what did it look like back yeah. then, and it's, it's like a time travel in your own head, using your own empathy. Do you know what I'm saying? But... I think regarding the... the I, I think it should be commemoration rather than celebration. So how do you commemorate it? I think... I, I'd like to hear as, as many different voices as possible. So inclusivity. Even if I, inclusivity. Yeah. Because here's the thing. If you take one particular voice and you go, uh, OK, it must be a Republican thing or whatever or any other one, take in everyone's voice, even if their opinion is a pile of shit. It has value because it starts... It starts conversations and it starts arguments. And that's the whole point of the Irish flag. But there was talk of, 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 a, of a wall, a peace wall or something like that, that, that would include... A all, memorial wall. Right, and that wall, correct me if I'm wrong, it was to, to list all the fallen, be they Republican yeah. or In soldier. alphabetical order. Tell me about this wall, what is this? Well, it's proposed. Yes. Uh, I think it's absolutely ludicrous that the names of all of those who died in 1916 would be inscribed in this alphabetically. And I spoke to uh, James Connolly Heron, the great-grandson of James Connolly, yeah. and he said, can you imagine my great-grandfather, his name might be inscribed beside the British soldier who shot him. Now, him. they'll say, isn't that the ultimate act of reconciliation? No, no, well, I'll give you another example. In, Viet in, in Washington, yes, you've been in Washington, the there's wall. a very elegant Vietnam uh, wall yeah. to the um, American soldiers who fell in Vietnam. Yeah. You can walk from one end of that wall to the other, and you won't see the name of a Viet, Viet Cong soldier on But does the wall suffer for that? No, I don't think so.